afternoon, uh, everybody. Um, thank you very much, uh, um, Professor Bugardi, for the introduction. Um, I hope you see my presentation. Um, so let me just start. Um, so I'm a researcher, I'm a think tanker uh, coming from civil society. Uh, so my perception is going to be a bit different, but I'm going to talk about our findings uh, and uh, how we, for example, approach communication and, and suggest some policy recommendations or recommendations as such. Um, so um, I'm going to be talking about our findings from public opinion polls since we've been conducting very specific public opinion polls since 2016. We polled uh, several conspiracy theories connected to COVID, but also uh, various questions on trust. Uh, and uh, recently we published Globes of Vulnerability Index where we analyzed sociodemographic vulnerabilities in eight countries uh, and, and tried to see how they could be utilized by melon actors um, or you know, just see where the vulnerabilities and where are the areas that we need to really uh, work more. Um, so um, what we found out is that even before the pandemic, um, huge parts of society, uh, especially in Slovakia in this case, uh, uh, believed in various conspiracy theories. We really literally polled various conspiracy theories um, that had historical relevance that were about secret societies. And we found out that on average, uh, depending on what kind of country you look, it's either majority of Slovaks or almost uh, <laughs> Uh, majority in Bulgaria, a large section of, of people believe in various conspiracy theories. Uh, when we did polling on conspiracy uh, connected uh, questions or misinformations a year ago, uh, we found out that still one year within the uh, pandemic itself, uh, huge parts of population uh, with Bulgaria and Romania leading uh, this chart, uh, really believed in various conspiracy theories, including official numbers of COVID cases, you know, are lower uh, than the public institutions tell us, uh, impl implementing that, uh, implicating that, that basically public institutions are lying to us. So we have a huge problem because a lot of people believe in conspiracy theories. And another part is that, uh, according to our findings, once again, uh, many people, um, you know, do, do not trust institutions. So we are in pandemic. Uh, there is a huge distrust already before the pandemic towards um, government or various uh, various important stakeholders. So what do we do about it? Uh, because people need to trust these institutions to be able to what to do and how to act in in case of pandemic, how to self isolate, etc. So um, another important element in this um, puzzle is a huge distrust in media. As you can see, uh, it is increasingly rising in our region. Um, we're talking about Baltic countries, Central uh, Europe, and then Romania and, and uh, Bulgaria. Uh, we see that a lot of uh, public stakeholders are, are attacking journalists uh, themselves, you know, talking about them as prostitutes, uh, attacking journalists, or if they do not like uh, particular things, they just say that it's a, a fake news, uh, as Donald Trump was so famous about it. Uh, and then an important element in this is the state capture or, polariz uh, or um, politicization of, of media. Uh, which is very much widespread in, in um, this region with uh, Hungary being the leader in these perceptions. 40, according to our findings, 40, uh, 64, 64 Hungarians believe that uh, their government significantly influences media in their country back in 2020. Um, our findings when it comes to vulnerability index pointed out that there is a widespread uh, low situational awareness about current threats um, um, among public institutions, public civil servants. There is a lack of strategic foresight about future, future threats, future plans. There is a lack of, of structures. Um, there is a not really functioning crisis uh, communication or crisis uh, system of management. This is something that Orshoya pointed out that we need to look into the you know policy infrastructure. We need to incorporate various stakeholders, and this is something that we've observed as missing. 
um, uh, we uh, see that um, there is a mainstreamization of information in all of these countries that we did the analysis in. Um, that more and more politicians themselves are spreading disinformation and conspiracy theories, including COVID-19, undermining the uh, health um, uh, procedures in order to win some points with their potential voters. And this is really, at the end, very counterproductive because then more and more people are exposed to um, you know, disinformation, conspiracy theories, more and more people are exposed to um, statements that are undermining overall um, the, the state policies or health policies and such. Um, and that's problematic. Um, when we, um, when we uh, looked and mapped uh, Facebook using Graphica tool, uh, which is based on AI system, we found out that this is the map visualizing uh, Facebook uh, in Hungary we found out that despite of the fact that many disinformation uh, outlets are might be on the uh, outside of the map, might not be in the center, a lot of public institutions and public personas eventually are taking over and multiplying and spreading that kind of malign content uh, to the wider uh, general public. In case of Slovakia, we found out that it was far-right extremists and increasingly in the past months also uh, former politicians that lost and then uh, lost the elections. Uh, and they found out that a lot of people are, as you see, as you've seen from the first chart, that believe in various conspiracy theories. Um, and they just jump on that wagon and started to spread themselves in order to appeal to them. So this is a huge problem because we have information environment that is, um, you know, full of uh, disinformation, full of conspiracy theories, full of various actors and outlets that serve uh, particular propaganda or are paid. And a lot of people do not understand that they are part of this information machinery. Uh, they are part of information operations and sometimes they are paid uh, uh, or serve particular, pro um, serve particular purpose in order to spread particular information. Um, this is an example of uh, uh, Sputnik V coming to Slovakia. Uh, uh, this is an example uh, that we really need to build uh, situational awareness uh, among uh, politicians because uh, you never know or they should uh, really take into consideration that uh, their actions, their um, declarations can be used or misused by various actors. Uh, uh, almost a year ago, uh, Slovakia, um, you know, they, we bought Sputnik V vaccine. That was a decision of Prime Minister and our Minister of Healthcare at that time that was not supported by uh, the, um, the government. They did, really didn't have any kind of support. Long story short, eventually they had to step down. We have a new government, but their actions were utilized in order in order to promote Sputnik V vaccines, in order to promote and serve uh, uh, Kremlin's propaganda, as you can see, you, you know, the Russian uh, Direct Investment Fund heavily promoted that, that um, arrival of Sputnik V in Slovakia. And our declarations of our, at the time, prime minister served uh, in the, the Kremlin's propaganda. Um, what it was very unfortunate uh, uh, was that both domestic and foreign actors, as we see from the, the Sputnik V official account on Twitter, um, actually accused um, our health um, experts, uh, in particular, uh, director of State Institute for Drug Control of, uh, you know, launching an act of sabotage against the vaccine, uh, launching a disinformation campaign against the vaccine, uh, and uh, there have been many, many declarations which have been underestimating the capacity, the knowledge, the expertise of experts um, in, in Slovakia. And this is, um, you know, this shouldn't be happening during the pandemic. You definitely shouldn't be underestimating your own health experts uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you are in the pandemic. Um, so what must be done? Um, our findings, both in the vulnerability index, but also from monitoring communication of, of governments in not only Slovakia, but wider region, shows that actually public institutions do not communicate. 
um, very often and very uh, properly uh, with the public. A lot of civil servants do not understand that communication should be part uh, of their work. So the first recommendation is that communication is a must. Communication must be part of any kind of policy. Uh, we need to set policies not only for daily communications, but we need to set policies for strategic communication. We need to set policies and structures for uh, crisis communication. We need to be present. We need to actively communicate with ordinary people because if we have uh, that communication, people know how to act and they do not question those policies. Um, um, if we are not present, uh, whether in actions or you know in communication, uh, the mainland actors such as Ac such as Russia and China are going to fill the void. We need to build situational awareness among civil servants, and we need to talk about uh, various polarizing uh, things or you know various threats we're going to face in the future, uh, because. Um, your, your your opponents are going to utilize that against you. And we definitely need to cooperate with various social media platforms because that's where a lot of disinformation, hate and polarization is happening. Um, we, you know, uh, diversification is, is a must. Uh, we try to, within our campaigns, within our work, we try to use uh, various stakeholders uh, we worked with stand-up comedians, we worked with YouTubers, we worked with uh, um, uh, rappers, we used various platforms. And this is something that uh, a lot of institutions are not doing. Um, you need to um, adjust your uh, content depending on um, who's your target audience and you need to really find suitable platform that's going to serve uh, your campaign or your message. Uh, and that's not being done at the moment. Um, and uh, the important part is the stakeholders. You need to find, and there's going to be many stakeholders that are going to help you eventually. You just need to look for them. You need to uh, find for, you need to seek allies and friendships because there are a lot of people that have the same calls, same, same principles, and you just need to join forces. And uh, last but not least, yeah, good communication is not really a rocket science. I just saw this in the morning. Uh, con in connection to the <laughs> Ukraine crisis uh, that is just now escalating. So it, communication can be easy. You just need to really invest in it and you need to realize that people need good information uh, uh, and good verified information. If you do not communicate, other people will communicate uh, instead of you and you will not have that kind of narrative in your uh, hands. So this is all for me. Thank you very much. Uh, I am, I think, at, at, at uh, um, uh, 12 minutes. Thank you very much for your attention.